Hey, hey, Jacob here. Um, wanted to share with you a template we built based on a very successful experiment we ran for Olark. Olark's a live chat software. And years ago, we ran this experiment on their homepage where, where, where it's visible here. These are the screenshots of, of uh, what has changed. And I turned this into a Figma template with the intention of inspiring possibly you know, new new experiments or, or new changes for, for others. Um, basically, I think this, this experiment has more uh, potential to be replicated or at, at least attempted to be, uh, to be validated on, uh, on other uh, landing pages or home pages. Um, so this is a premium template. So this is something that's available on, uh, on their goodyby.org slash templates. And it's um, right here, just the one. Uh, but today I just wanted to go over some of the kind of changes, some of the uh, potential uh, UI changes that we did that possibly led to an improvement in signups. Um, so again, here's here's what the control looked like. And in the template, I discuss additional, uh, I kind of call out these, 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 uh, these changes, uh, including things like a simplified visual. So instead of oh, like a more like an overwhelming visual here, a more detailed photo of what the live chat looks like, it was kind of abstracted. Um, another change was a shift from, uh, from this type of a headline. Uh, like a, kind of like an empowering headline towards more of a problem solution headline here. So your customers want to chat with you. Um, I tag this as a problem uh, type of headline because it implies that this is what they want, but they kind of can't unless you take some specific action like sign up for, for the software, right? So that's this kind of very subtle, implicit uh, prompt solution uh, frame here. Uh, other things or emphasis of, of a free trial. Uh, but the key layout kind of UI structural uh, changes is, is, is in the in the core, the, the body here of the, of the page. Um, so here in, in the pre in the on the old version, there was like a, a subtle mention of what's uh, you know of what, what's what this thing does. Uh, in the variant, we expanded. Uh, basically try to support the headline and basically show how um, people could chat and, and, and in different ways um, through a series of at least six, uh, so three and, and, and three uh, subsections that detail that, including the first one, for example, um, see what they're doing, see who they are. So I kind of call this out as a kind of empowering statement. This is about the users of the software who uh, who are empowered to not just chat, but actually see who they're chatting with before they initiate uh, the conversation. So there's more context. Um, that, that's the value proposition um, of, of, uh, of, of the software. Um, other supporting statements are kind of ease of integration statements. Um, so it can be pretty much set this up very quickly, customization uh, sections, uh, more integration. Uh, and finally, supporting the solution. So uh, making customers happy, uh, this is ultimately proving at the end of the conversation, basically their reviews um, at the end of a chat. So so that this emphasizes that the, at the end you have visibility into you know how, how well or, or not so well a conversation has gone with a particular user or customer. Um, and then there's also uh, repeated calls to action. And for some of these, some of these identified changes, um, we do have evidence or we have supporting patterns. So here, for example, these are linked to particular uh, patterns with data. So as, as good UI customers, um, people have also access to this evidence, which is kind of like a supporting piece of evidence in favor of some of these. Okay. Um, here's the, the here's the actual experiment, which which indicates uh, um, a nice jump of sixteen percent more signups with some degree of margin of error there. Um, and of course, this is done for desktop and mobile. Uh, and this is the Figma template that can be rearranged uh, and adjusted uh, on your own project. This is also meant to work with this free canvas template that we built. So I can also link to this, uh, but this is basically a structure we use 
on real projects to um, to design experiments with. Um, so for example, something I would typically do as, as a, here as a quick use case, I might take something like this uh, as inspiration. I might drop it into this inspiration section here. Uh, then I might take um, a screenshot of whatever I'm working on, maybe a new homepage. Uh, and basically this exploration section here is meant to push ideas, push the boundary of kind of ideas of, of generate as many as possible, uh, create variations. And for some of those selected ones, possibly turn them into an A-B test or two or three or design basically an experiment on that, okay, as, as an option. Um, but yeah, so this is the kind of catalyst canvas uh, and I can link to that as well. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show this little project that was successful and I think it has more uh, more chance to uh, to succeed hopefully for others. So thanks.